At the end of each month, I go over in full transparency how well my automated trading systems are performing. Are they making money or are they losing money? In today's video, we're gonna be going over February 2024 and how my automated trading systems performed. I deeply apologize for the incredibly late video. Now as of recording, it's March 22nd. So I totally understand if you're watching this and you're like, Jacob, why are you uploading three weeks late? It's been busy, it's been a busy week. Uh, I had some issues on the server too with database and you know getting performance numbers. So I'm gonna be showing you my actual statements from my brokerage account because I cannot show you the trade performance on NinjaTrader. Uh, so you'll be seeing that in today's video and future ones should be okay. Sometimes issues happen, computer, software, you guys know the gist. Anyways, before we get started, hello, my name is Jacob Amaral. I build, code, and trade automated trading systems on the futures market with my own capital. If you wanna learn more about automated trading and trading bots, see the links in the description below. So without further ado, let's get started. I am going to flip my screen here. All right, let's make me a little bit smaller. Okay, so here's my statement for February 1st, 2024. There's the beginning balance of that date right there. 2.478 and then I have my February 29th balance which is the last trading day of February or maybe just the last day of February and let's go to the ending balance which was here okay so you can see we lost uh, 2.478 to 2.429 uh, it's about $49,000 uh, in losses which is about a 2% loss on the month so super frustrating, of course, as the market, uh, if we look at S&P futures, that was up 4.79% for the month. So a massive outperformance, underperforming the market by 6% for the month of February. Uh, huge punch in the gut for sure, sucks. January, we had an incredible month, one of our best months ever, double digit returns. So we crushed it last month. Uh, but what you find is you'll do very, very well one month or a couple of days and then you're gonna give some of it back. And that's what happened in February. 2% loss for the month isn't massive. Definitely sucks underperforming the market, but you know, with January's performance, we're still way ahead of schedule for the year, which is great news. Uh, one thing I wanted to talk about, I think why we did so poorly, is the volatility on a daily basis. So. All of our trading systems trade intraday, all right? So we trade futures, we're trading between 6 p.m. Eastern and 5 p.m. Eastern the next day, which is the future session trading hours. We also have some systems that do trade from 9.30 to 4 p.m. Eastern, um, but we also have systems trading that, that you know, 23 hour period, if you will. And, uh, you know, we've, we've seen that, you know, the, range of markets has decreased, right? We're looking at 2019 to 2017 levels with the range of markets. So for example, let me pull up, uh, this is trading view. Let's add the average day range indicator. And this measures the average daily range of price movement for uh, an asset. In this case, we're using ES. So you can see right now, um, let's see February, you know, we can see it's around 40 to 50 points, right? But as we scroll back in time, we see that it was much, much higher, right? Much, much higher. Which means that, you know, before ES had more volatility, it was moving more more points on a day. And as we can see right now, we're, for, for February, we're sitting around 51. Um, which was majority of the time for you know 2019, um, 2017 uh, levels. Well, 2017 was lower, but uh, we're seeing just markets move less, and that you know has hurt. Or that, that with with the volatility decrease, that means you must have you know quicker exits, tighter stops, and um, February really showed us that. A lot of our systems were holding until 4 p.m. until the end of the day which mathematically, if you look at the back test, will make the most money. However, in the current market environment, they won't, they'll get stopped out and you know, it just won't perform that well. So definitely we've added a lot of systems with tighter targets um, and 
just having lower holding times has done well. Of course, if you look at uh, February, you know, holding overnight was much better. There's a lot more movement in the morning uh, session between midnight and, you know, 4 a.m. Eastern. And that's something we're working on as well. Um, so we're applying that for March and we hope to see a better input. Um, but yeah, that's February down for the month sucks, but we'll move forward. We'll survive and to live another day. Uh, let me know in the comments below if you like these types of videos and if you want to see maybe more information on the performance. Unfortunately, I don't have, you know, our performance like Sharp or uh, trades and all that because of this ninja, I had a ninja trader uh, database corruption and I only have the balances for you, uh, but uh, I'll make sure in following sessions we'll have that uh, available. So anyways, have a good week, guys. We'll see you next video. Bye-bye.